You know, my father, ah, a soldier at that time, he has no time for you. When you see his face, you correct yourself. <laughs> so parental control was your parents seated on the sofa. Of course, you dare not sit on the sofa. Your position was on the floor. Chairs were reserved for parents. Floor for children. Then you sit and you watch. The owner of the house had power over the TV. Now I'm sure most of you don't even know where your remote control is. When you want to watch Junior, who is there? Where is the control? Can I watch my program? You're begging them to move from cartoon to news. So it, it, no, then you don't try it. The remote was you. Your father was the controller. Because it's you. Go and turn on the TV. You go and turn on the TV. Go and increase volume. You go and in, increase volume. I go back and change the chat. You go back. So you were the remote and your father was the controller. It was job. And you will obey. You can't make noise. You will sit patiently and wait. And they will instruct you. So from common sense, you know what not to watch when your father is seated behind you. For instance, anytime I was, we were watching TV, my younger sister and I, if there was a foreign program on, you see a young white male and a young white female discussing. Once they pause and begin to look at each other, <laughs> it's our cue to get out. <laughs> because if by accident you're still there when they lock lips, the slap that will come from my father, you will think you're part of the kissing. <laughs> so as we're watching, once they pause, I'll tell my sister, let us move. <laughs> we'll leave. Because you already know what you're not supposed to see. And you see, some of this training, you know, it's, it's, it still stayed with us. Because today, I'm watching TV. My kids are there. Once they begin to kiss, I'm the one who is feeling uncomfortable. And the kids are the ones who are so relaxed. Sometimes they even call your attention to me. Daddy, they are kissing. And imagine they hold me. I'm looking for where to hide. You know, but anyways... Parents did well, and we turned out right. And of course, please a round of applause for all the mothers here, all the mothers. Our mothers did an amazing job. Our mothers, they did a wonderful job, you know, of training us. You know, those were the days when mothers used to give eye signal. If your mother took you to somebody's house, you get the warning first before you leave. No matter what they offer you, you're not hungry. Are you listening? No matter what they serve, no matter how good looking or tasting, you are not hungry. What did I say? Mommy, I'm not hungry. Say good. You are never to accept food from strangers. So when you go out with your mom, you go to maybe a family member's place and they bring out food. Sometimes these things can look, you know, food from other people's home for a child can look more attractive than your own home food. Because you're tired of every day your mom may probably making the same thing. Then you go to their house, you see the way they are serving. And your, your appetite is being encouraged. Then you establish eye contact with your mom for approval. <laughs> you know, there's a way they look at you and they continue what they're doing. You know that uh, you're not part of that meal. <laughs> and if for any reason... She sees you walking towards the dining where the food is served. <laughs> when your mom goes like this, <laughs> when she does something like this and looks at you, you know you're finished. <laughs> you know, I don't know how mothers did it. But now, today, you know, most of you here know you can't do the, that eye signal thing with children. They're not even looking at you half the time. Their eyes on their device. You know? I remember one time I got a beating of my life because I went out with my mom and this little kid who just, maybe they just came back, he was talking to the mother in here. Mom, I hate you. I don't like you. Hey! My mother heard. She held my ear like this and pulled me up. You see what in that boy, they tell the mother, any day you talk to me like that, any day you make mistake, any... I was not the one talking, but I was the one getting punished. Any day you talk to me like that, maybe to prove to me that you're grown, I will finish you. Ah. My, of course, my father was, my father those days, my father can slap you for what you're planning to do. You can just be in one corner and my father will come in. What are you doing there? You look like somebody who's trying to do, do. Ah. But it worked. You know, kids these days, when you talk about it, 
they think domestic violence. Not be domestic violence, not upbringing. Because the world out there is not going to be kind to you. The world out there is rough. And they are waiting to deal with you. All right. I also like the fact that um, Ike did not forget to give Madame an award. <laughs> that is uncommon wisdom. I like it when men remember to honor their wives. Because, you know, women, they are the most powerful people God created. Is anybody going to doubt that? You know, most times when I say it, men are tempted to argue. Women are the most intelligent of all God creatures. Is anybody in doubt? I know the men are quiet. No, don't take my word for it. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. I'm not going to tell you anything that is not in the Bible. They are the most intelligent. Look, if you go to the book of Genesis, the evidence is there. You know, God set up a garden and planted a tree that brings forth the fruit of knowledge and gave instruction to man not to touch. And Adam, as the fool when him be, did not touch. The tree was there. If you, if you eat this fruit, your eyes will open. Adam is not interested in opening eyes. You see the tree and... Not until Eve came. And um, women in their quest, curiosity for knowledge, became the first to eat out of that fruit. And by so doing, they were the first to open eye. Is it not simple logic? They were the first to know. Because they were full of knowledge. And you know, the funny thing is that there was no time watch calendar at the time. So we don't even know how long Eve enjoyed the fruit before she introduced it to Adam. Her eyes could have been open for like six years and Adam was busy fooling around everywhere. Until one day Eve decided, I can't come, come. Come, Mugu, monkey. Come, 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 let me open your eye. Oh yeah, taste small apple. And it probably wasn't, you know, it didn't digest before God showed up. That is why men have Adam's apple. It was still somewhere here. He had not even swallowed the first piece. So the knowledge had not fully set in. It wasn't fully activated before God came. That was how man became the first of God's creation to fail an exam. You know, the first person to fail an exam wasn't Eve. It was Adam. A simple question of geography, question of location. Adam, Adam, where are you? Simple answer, I'm in the bush. Or I'm in the garden. But instead of giving a geography answer to a geography question, he gave fashion design answer. Adam, Adam, where are you? He said, I'm naked. <laughs> now, what is the relationship between your state of dressing and your location? You know, that was what annoyed God. And God looked at him and said, how can somebody I made in my image be this dumb? That was why man was thoroughly punished for an offense that a woman committed. You know? You know, but